Thank you, Mr. Chairman, um, Secretary Austin, General Milley, um, Deputy Secretary McCord. Thank you all for being here. And General Milley, let me echo all of the thanks from other members of the subcommittee for your long service to this country. Um, I would like to follow up on Senator Reed's comments, and I'm disappointed that more of our the members of the subcommittee aren't here. Um, because I'm not sure that everyone understands what the impact of holding these um, general officer nominations are on the military. And I think Senator Reed and I are the only ones on this subcommittee on armed services who have had a chance to see this play out. And while you may not want to get into the, the reason why these um, officers are being held up, I'm going to ask you, Secretary Austin, to explain um, the policy that you put in place that is the reason why um, our colleague from Alabama says he is holding these nominees. Um, you're uh, speaking of uh, our policy on reproductive health care. Absolutely. Uh, thanks, Senator. Uh, as you well know, Senator, um, about 18 percent of our force is female. That's right. And can you speak to how important it is to be able to have recruit those women into the military, especially given that recruitment is down right now? I think it's critical that uh, people be assured that uh, if they join the force, they will have continue to have access uh, to reproductive health care. Uh, and currently, we have about 80,000 of our women that are stationed in those areas uh, where uh, uh, they don't have ready access to reprodu reproductive health care. Uh, and uh, and they don't get a chance to pick where they where they live and where they're stationed, uh, and so um, you know what this policy does is uh, ensure that uh, uh, that uh, that access uh, exists, that they have the means to uh, uh, to access uh, reproductive health care, and especially uh, those things non covered reproductive health care, and uh, and again uh, this uh, this policy is firmly rooted in, in, uh, in law. Uh, again, you've, we've talked about the fact that the DOJ uh, has, uh, has provided an opinion. That opinion is posted on their, their website. And, uh, and so uh, this is important for our force. Uh, and, uh, and again, we have a young force, and, uh, and about one in five of our troops are women. And I think it's critical that they be assured uh, that they'll have access. Uh, I, I want them focused on the mission. Uh, and not worried about whether or not uh, they're going to have access to reproductive health care. And, and I would just add that um, we know that women serving in the military have a higher rate of unintended pregnancies than the general population in this country. So that's another reason why this is so important. But can you also address whether we would be making our recruitment numbers that we need to make for the military if we were not able to recruit women? Well, certainly, we, uh, that problem would be uh, compounded uh, by an order of magnitude. Again, uh, our, our women do incredible work for us, Senator, and, and uh, we, we are all very proud of them, and, uh, and they continue to amaze us each and every day. And we would not be the force that we are without, uh, without the contribution that they, they bring to the table. And again, it's uh, throughout DOD. I'll, I'll make that comment. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate, as I do um, so many people, the policy that you've put in place, and I think it's absolutely critical. And I hope that we are going to see this body address those holds that are being placed on our general officers. I talked to one of them yesterday who's waiting to be sent out to another um, posting, and he doesn't have his new title. He's um, in, basically in a holding pattern while he waits for that. It would be tragic if uh, that kind of talent uh, began to vote with their feet and, uh, and because of the unpredictability, uh, leave our service and go do something else. Uh, we, you know, these, these people have earned uh, uh, the right to be promoted, and, uh, and their families deserve uh, what comes with that as well. Uh, and so we, we certainly don't want to begin losing people because uh, we can't promote them. So.